like to call tonight's meeting to order. <coughs> Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here. Clark? Here. Conan? Here. Wallach? Here. Baylor? Yep. Audie? Here. Cooper is absent. Okay. Um, you see the agenda before you. Are there any changes to the agenda? We're going to remove um, the first item of, I'm <coughs> sorry, the first item under um, new business on. Uh, park budget, we're going to put that into upcoming agenda items. And the employee contract negotiation committee appointments, um, President Cooper asked that we wait until after the election to set that. So we're going to move that down until uh, the second meeting in November. And on that B, park benches are still yeah, staying the, there. Yeah, the, the old park benches are still going to stay. Oh. I have a motion on the agenda. Uh, Mr. President, I'll move that the agenda be accepted as amended. And support. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, there are no presentations. Are no citizens comment on oh. agenda items. I'm sorry. That's okay. Do we have any citizens' comments on non agenda items? Thank you, items on the agenda, isn't it? <laughs> oh, uh, there being no presentations, do we have any administrative reports? Several. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> I, I thought we guys have see, uh, received them. Um, Chuck was waiting, as you know, in July. I think it was July, June, July. The accounting person at F and who handled. Um, all the wastewater billings um, passed away suddenly and they did not have anybody to replace her. Um, in addition, nobody was cross-trained to do her job, so I think all businesses probably want to investigate that, including us, to make sure if somebody does get sick or ill, there's somebody who can backfill. Um, so he was waiting for those billings, the monthly reports, to get us the, the monthly reports that we, we like to look and we're used to. It's not happening, so I requested to him uh, last week, I think, that we got to have at least the, the reports. The monthly billings will catch up uh, when we can. Uh, they just hired somebody two weeks ago or a week ago, and they're trying to get caught up. Obviously, there's a learning curve also with the new employee starting, where it hasn't been done for about three months. So we're patient with them and uh, understanding to f and B's problem. So it's just really, at this point, it should just be the monthly billings that are behind. I'm sorry, not the monthly billings. The maintenance cap, the detail behind the maintenance cap. Again, if we go over because they bought too much, we pay for it. If we're under, we roll in into the next year. So in the end, it's not a, um, a make or break a situation. It's just a timing thing that we'll get, we'll get it all done. Uh, I was at the plant. They had ripped out uh, the, the weeds. The landscape and in the front, yeah, in front of the building, uh, per my request, they planted grass seed there and they left the two or three rocks and the one tree, so it looks so much nicer. They're also going to put in drainage tile when they get around to it to drain the downspouts, fix the gutter. That's on their hit list. Um, Brian has also started the one room that we talked about redoing, uh, so he's ripped all the old equipment out of it, the chemical room. They're going to paint it, put new containment units in there. It's all stuff that you guys approved in the budget uh, in April or in May, whenever we did that, March. So they're starting to do the items that we need to get done. They're getting caught up with some of the old stuff, um, and we're moving forward. Is it a lot drier down in the basement with uh, the pumps that uh, got changed out? It is. That those pumps are not leaking one bit. Okay. What is leaking are those valves, and they had Kennedy Industries come out and look at the valves. Kennedy couldn't do it. The council approved having those valves fixed. I think there was 11 dessert valves. Um, Kennedy couldn't do it because when they built the building, the valves are right up against the wall or the ceiling. So you can't just pull them out. It's 
very complicated process. We were hoping that this S2 grant would identify a new way of doing it, you know, by having engineers look at it. All they did in the S2 is say, yes, they need to be replaced and it's going to cost X amount of dollars. They won't give me the detail because this is not part of the design phase. The, the design phase is what's going to say, do this, do that, do that. Mm -hmm. So the S2 is not what I thought it was going to do in that sense. So now there are still the dessert valves are leaking. We have um, some places have combs, uh, not combs, funnels. Other places have those water bags that catch the water and drain it to the side of the, the building. Um, sorry, the side of the wall. Those are working. Mm -hmm. Somewhat of an eyesore, but I don't know if anybody's ever been in there besides me and maybe an engineer. Nobody really wants to go into the basement. Dennis doesn't like it, but we are going to fix it. We just have to figure out how to fix it. Mm -hmm. But there's no standing water like in the past. Okay. No. So those, those pumps we put in are definitely well worth the money. And uh, as you can see, the water bill, you don't see the water bills. I just approved my two water bills at the plant. And it's one of them is a minimum, and one of them is um, about half a household. Because they don't they just flush the toilets when they go to the bathroom. Other than that, there's no running water like there used to be mm -hmm. when we used to have $20,000 water bills. So fixing those three pumps and the air conditioner did save us. Yes, it's a, a yeah. in-house billing, but we have substantially saved the money like we anticipated. So good. again, that was well worth the replacement of those pumps at about 20000 each, three of them, 24000 I think it was. Mm -hmm. So about four or five years payback, and then it's just pure savings. Good. So and I think that's all I had. So he is still working on the money once Grand Rapids gets in. It's just a, a little tiny, but I, we've always been fairly accurate with them. I mean, sometimes they'll go buy light bulbs, you know that, those uh, UV light bulbs mm -hmm. to get us to the maintenance cap, and then the next year we don't have to buy them until the next, you know, it's just a little game, but we might be slightly over, we might be slightly under at year end, but it's not gonna make or break us, I don't believe. Okay. That is why the reports are delayed. Okay? Yeah. Are there, any, are there any other administrative reports? Mr. President, uh, the scrap tire grant that we approved last meeting has been applied for. Uh, went in, I believe, last Thursday, is that correct? Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. And it was shipped overnight mail over to the MDEQ. Still waiting to hear if we've gotten on that. And the project is going to be Birch Street, hopefully, with this, with this piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are there any other? Uh, Reports? Can I have a motion on the consent agenda? Are there any changes to that? Mr. President, I'll move that the consent agenda be accepted as presented. Second. Support. Motion by Madeline, supported by Barney. No, Clark. Clark. Oh, Clark, I'm sorry. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Okay. Being no old business, let's move on to the new business. Uh, we have water billing uh, for 22083 Main Street. Are there any citizen comments? We just need these water bills fixed, guys. That's the main thing. We should not be billed for four meters that don't exist and that there is no usage. And I want the water bills corrected for the past overcharges. Let's make this right. Okay. Mr. Clark, I believe this is your agenda item. Yep. Yeah. In your packets, you'll see two different letters, one from uh, Sherry Barfell and one from the law office of the Victor firm. Uh, I spoke to to Sherry this afternoon, and I said, what, what letter are we going by? She said, the attorney's letter. I then uh, got back to the office. I called up Jeff. We had a short conversation, and he was of the opinion that if we're dealing with the attorney, that it's kind of out of our hands, and the attorneys will be working on it, because Early on, we, when we found out we had the two letters, I had talked to Jeff earlier in the week, and he wanted to talk to me. He said, you know, that two letters were received, and he did not want to be spending time and money going through different scenarios to try and fix things, only to be 
you know, have it not be the right thing that they wanted anyway. So, so with that being said, I, I all I can say is that I guess it's going to be the attorneys talking about it because this group is not going to be negotiating with uh, Ms. Barfell's attorney. So, so that's where that what's stands. The, what's the problem okay. here? I mean, you're, there's no meters. He can't do anything. Oh, oh, sure. Uh, your, your attorney is involved now, so that we cannot, we as a board are not going to negotiate with your attorney. And it pretty much the last sentence here says, uh, recalculate the water bills, which I understand that Jeff was going to work on that, but now and you want, want to be refunded, all overcharges have been levied against you. So that leaves no room for any negotiation whatsoever. So, so Jeff... I guess we'll be meeting with your attorney, and that's where it stands. We can't work with both. We can't work with you and work with your attorney. I understand that, Dave, and I, I respect that. But again, this shouldn't be even, it should be a non issue. Let's so, just take well, these water bills and I think we already that. had that, but you were retained an attorney. Uh, you retain an attorney to speak for you or for your position, so we have to honor that. We respect. What I you've done. I retained an attorney so, who sent you two letters. Okay, we cannot do any more tonight on it, that's all. I mean, we're respecting your request. Okay, our request is fix the water bills and don't bill me for the meters. That is not, your, happy. That is not your attorney's request. And you have our letter here. And like I told Stephen today in the office, Correct that. Don't bill me for meters. We'll be glad to exist. work on it if you withdraw your attorney. If your attorney withdraws, if your attorney stays there, then our attorney will work with them. With her. Or, so. Okay. We're again, trying to work with you. I'm trying. But you, to work but you can't. You can't have somebody else working for you, and you working for you. You can only, Either you're doing it, or Miss Victor. At this point, we just want these water bills fixed, and I'm willing to work with you guys if you can take off the charges for the water bills and refund the, the difference that we were overcharged. That's what I'm asking hey, for. Then, the we're going to have to end this, but am I correct to say that she would have to have her attorney withdrawal for us to work for her with her? That's a just question. We've been contacted by her attorney. I think yeah. we, 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 we got to be careful what you know, I wouldn't yeah. discuss it anymore. But now yeah. it goes into closed session. So, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Thank you. Hopefully, we'll get this worked out. Uh, okay, we will have her contact you. She already has. Sure. Um, well, she'll call you because these guys are going to have to work it out. Because this is um, ridiculous. Okay. Moving on to the park okay. benches. Now, um, let's go. Old yeah. The old park benches. Do uh, you have some information on that? Joe, that's your. Is that <coughs> you know, your item? Two seconds. It's kind of a council item. Um, you know, as everybody knows, we replaced the park benches with sturdier, longer lasting, more durable benches. And that leaves the question of several residents have asked, what are we doing with the old park benches? They are wrought iron and wood. Um, some are in need of repair, some are usable. But according to our ordinance, it's up to council to decide what you want to do with the park benches. You can't put a price on them, but you can put them out for bid. So if council wants to go ahead and just say we will accept bids from now through. Well, we need to give it time because I think we have to advertise right. it. Right. So on in now, some from way. now through whatever is mm -hmm. how you would advertise it. Joe, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. can we give them away without no. advertising? No. 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 How many benches are there? Or? There's no. four, maybe five. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I refinished them the last time they were refinished and um, Jerry Wyland put them back together for me. And I think I did four. Okay. I know one of them that was down there did belong to uh, private business, so we can't count that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to sit in that one in front of Papa's all summer. I wouldn't mind getting, I wouldn't mind buying that one myself. <laughs> 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 your butt press. Yeah. Yeah. Your butt has attachment to that one, just I'm used to having my coffee on it. So. I have a question. Yes. What, how long of a time do you want to hold these goods open? Right, that's um, what you need to decide. Well, we would need to put it in the paper in order for it to be in next week. I have to have it in by Thursday. Okay. So do you um, want to keep so it in for two, uh, a month? Um, 
I would think two weeks would probably be sufficient. I, we can put a notice up. You know, it's going to go in the Armada Times, which not everybody gets. We know that. So well, we've already announced it on Channel 6, we can which post everybody it here. doesn't get. We can get, post it on Channel 6. Mm -hmm. We can put it in the paper. Um, we can just say we're accepting offers mm -hmm. on the on the remaining part benches. Would we want a minimum bid on it of $25 or $50? I don't think we like can that. set it. Our, our ordinance says whenever yeah, any village of property, real or personal, is no longer needed for corporate or public purposes, the same may be offered for sale. Personal property not mm -hmm. exceeding $500, which of course these would not, um, in value may be sold for cash by the village council after receiving quotations or competitive bids, therefore for the best price obtainable. And then it goes on to talk about over 500, but obviously these are yeah, these are under. So where where are the benches located now? I mean, if somebody wanted to look at them, so I think I took them down in the DPW. I think they're at the DPW. Okay, they're outside. I take it. So if somebody could look well, at we them, can, we can we can make them available and, and okay. for viewing. We'll, you know, we could. Yeah, we'll just okay. put that. But I think they hand. should be. Out so somebody can look at them and see what they are. Now we did own them, right? They were yes. like a 4-H or not 4-H. Uh, no, ACTA. ACTA. ACTA bought them for the And dollars. they gave them to us? Yes. Or? Donated them. Okay. Yes, so donated. Do we have to put it in the paper? Can we just put it in Craigslist? That's how we bought the new ones. I, I was kind of kind of be hard. Only I was kind of thinking the same as Harry. I hate to spend a lot of cost to advertise. Yeah, if we include it in our minutes, <laughs> then it's giving the people in our minute times as long as somebody looks at it. Included on channel seven and then just the, minutes the word amount. The minutes are being made available. Channel six. Channel six. Sorry. There you go. The, the minutes are, aren't available for uh, on the website, or I mean, we can get drafts out, but the the official minutes aren't available for two weeks because they don't get right. approved till the next meeting. Okay. Well, the ordinance so, doesn't say it has to be. It does not advertised in any specific it manner. I it mean, does you not. put a notice on the. Uh, if you want to make a motion door. to post it, uh, you, yeah, you can post do it on channel six. Well, I think we should well, it's put already, it also on the, on the window six, here. I think it should be on the window here. Sure. In the word website. of mouth. I mean, I think word of yeah. mouth, lots of people talk around this town. Yeah. I think to spend 50 bucks or whatever it costs to advertise, if we're going to make a hundred. Maybe we only make and five bucks make a couple bucks. Right. I don't know. You know, you hate to lose money on yeah. sale. Are we? Just are trying we to get back. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, Mr. President, the, the money that we receive from these, will those go in for the park budget, or are they going... No, they'll go back. And they'll just go into the general fund. The general fund. Unless you designate it into the park budget. They did, they, the uh, money, they did not come yeah, from the they park. They never come from the park budget. So. And all the repair was donated for free. Jerry didn't charge anything. I didn't charge anything. So there was, there's been no cost to the village on those benches at all. Mr. President, I'll move to allow the clerk and treasurer to select bids for a period of two weeks for the sale of the old benches in the park. Those solicitations. Oh, will wait, be. Uh, whoa, whoa. Do you have that real Yes. Case? Okay. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Those solicitations to be posted on NEMC six, Channel 6 and posted at the Village. Office. Can we just say it on the website? We'll put it on the website also. And website. Good point. All right. Do we have a second to this motion? Support. Supported by Mr. Audi. Can we just go ahead and award it also to. Uh, well, we can maybe award it at the next meeting. Award it at the second yeah. meeting in month. Yeah, right. probably. Well, is it possible that you, know, you could like just get one? We could. I mean, they don't have to bid on mine. You can bid no, on one. No, bid on one. In yeah. here all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. And, uh, no further uh, new business. Upcoming agenda items. Well, we know we have the park budget on there under A, an employee negotiation committee. Um, that will be brought B. back to the second meeting in November. That's not coming at the next meeting. This is not for the next meeting? That one is not, no. Oh. We're going to wait till after That will be the second show. meeting? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have a new president. Yeah. Yep. For the next um, meeting? Yep. Go ahead. Do we have any other agenda items? Excuse me. Uh, yes, we will have, we will have the uh, quote from Row Incorporated for the Prospect and Keach Street 
bridge slash culvert jobs. And that I would like that at the next meeting if yep. possible. Thank you. Yep. Any other uh, upcoming agenda items? Do we have any citizens' comments? Come on, Pastor Clark. Nothing? I speak on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> very well, I must say. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> I had to add that part. Are there any other council comments? Council comments? Mm -hmm. How about community events? Trick or treating is Friday from 5 to 7. Right. 5 to 7, better write that down because you know how many calls we get. And the Armada Alliance Linus has the Halloween costume party at the hall. At the town hall? Mm -hmm. And Thursday night at the Lions Club, at the Lions Hall. Oh, and at the Lions Hall. Thursday night at the Creekside Center is the Coffee with a Cop. The Armada, Armada Police Department and the Michigan State Police will be at the center and they're asking anyone to come that has any comments, any concerns, any questions. Coffee and, and conversation with the police. From what 6 time? to 7.30. 6 to 7.30. This is Thursday night. Yes. This Thursday night. Do we have that center. posted? Yes, we do. Good. Yeah. It should be posted all over town. Also, I did not yeah, know this one today. But. Yeah, he went to all the businesses and only got one that refused to put it in there. Is that Oh, well, okay. <laughs> is it free coffee? Yes, it is. He will be there. Yeah. <laughs> we might take that park bench up there, though. There you go. <laughs> um, no further business? And if there's no further business, do I have a motion? Motion by Wolock, supported by Mallard. All in favor of adjourning? At 722. All right. All yes. in favor? Yes. yes. Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>